What is going on everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. Before we get into the episode, if you guys are looking to pick up any MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out thegamekeys.co.uk or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code Japes to get yourself a 5% discount on their instant delivery. So here we are and I've decided to play a few games with the silver team while we decide whether or not to sell the young Gareth on. And that's been the hot topic for debate at this point in time. So uh, that was the goal. And I realized, oh, man, I'm low on fitness cards. So annoying. But a lot of things had sold on, including the man of the match, Hong Win Sun. So with 250,000 coins, I thought, ah, screw it. Let's go buy some packs. It's the uh, special foot pack. Well, first, I thought about picking up the second informed De Bruyne. And I looked at his price, and I was like, ah, oh, he's so expensive. Buy a few jumbo packs. For uh, I will buy a jumbo pack, hope for the best. And I looked and I said 25,000, I don't think it's worth it. I'd rather have the consumables as well for Path to Power because they come in really handy, especially the fitness ones, which was what prompted me to open this pack anyway. And we get absolutely nothing. But we got some contracts, which we'll most definitely keep. Sell them on eventually. Uh, we've also got some fitness cards in there, which is exactly what we needed to go out and play a match. And all in all, that was a very disappointing pack. But that's okay. Um, because I decided that I was going to open another pack. We're going to go ahead and switch up our kits as well. It's been a while since I do this. Every so often, uh, for those of you guys that might be new, I get a little bit bored and I go out and I buy a pack. And sometimes I'll go like kit hunting and just open packs until I find a kit that I like and put it on. And this time I just decided we'll just swap everything out um, and see where that gets us. We discard the rest of it. And I'm like, all right, even if I open one more of these 15,000 ones, we'll be over 220,000, which would be fantastic. Fantastic. And lo and behold, my luck is on point. That is the young Eden Hazard. So we, oh man, first Gareth, now Eden. Boys, we have got some serious talent. And at this point, I was like, all right, how am I not going to go out and make a Bale Hazard combo team? You can see I, pa I basically paused it there because I was in a bit of shock. Like, oh my gosh. Did that really just happen? So we send him to the club and deal with the rest of the stuff. So my luck has just been amazing. Um, also, leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys would like to see some of the highlights from the other uh, kind of pack openings I've done just on my own time this week. I don't have face cam for them, but if you're interested in seeing what my packs looked like, I'd be happy to upload the highlights of it and uh, still planning on doing that Q&A. Maybe I'll just combine those, do a bit of the Q&A over the pack opening highlights. Uh, go about it that way. Picked up a squad fitness, a finisher chem, and oh, those super, super rare India kit. They're not actually super rare, but I decided to throw them on. Why not? Now I've got a dark kit and a light kit. We should be good to go. So since I still had it in my mind at this point that I wanted to use this silver team, I went out and I applied my fitness cards and I said, all right, let's head on into the match. Uh, knowing full well, I would probably get myself into a difficult time in this tournament. Now, you know you're going to get good teams, you know you're going to get bad teams, but more often than not, uh, on Sundays, you're going to get some better players. Um, so this guy, pretty decent looking hybrid squad. Um, and he was actually a pretty darn strong player as well. He's only got 90 chem, but his team just didn't play like that. It was it's it was really, really weird because I looked at that midfield and I thought, yeah, I'm going to be able to walk through uh, the three of them. But this maybe it's having not played with silver teams for a really long time or I don't know what. But we're getting things started nice and simple. Back to this 4-2-3-1, moving it slowly, 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 and letting, uh, you know, just waiting for chances, waiting for runs to develop. Play it over to Alan, plays a brilliant through ball to Dybala, and he lives that chip life. Weaker right foot, phenomenal finish into the far corner. I thought, all right, that's what we needed. Now we should be good to go. But this was, uh, this was one of those where, okay, some of you guys will, some of you guys will take to this advice. Some of you guys will probably not. So generally speaking, when I'm recording for you guys, I will not play FIFA if I'm like exhausted. If I just woke up, if it's right before bedtime, uh, stuff like that, I will not play because I know that's when I'm tired and I'm just not paying attention. So this is just woken up, Japes, not a cup of coffee deep. And it was brutal, brutal creativity. Went to extra time, managed to get a header there. The young Uchen getting us a goal in the 95th minute. And I thought, all right, now we should be set. Plays a great through ball. And this is... 
I, I knew that coming back to Alexis Sanchez's right was clearly what was going to happen right there. I just did not react to it quick enough, um, or I did not predict it quick enough. So he, he was able to take advantage of me there. And this is, what am I doing? Like, he's got, if he cuts inside, I've got two players to help him out. And I just, like, gave him the outside, an easy pass across. Also, the AI on Molinaro there, if you watch that one back, really, really bizarre. Uh, but he manages to get a free and easy goal. And this was a loss that just... Uh, it was very, very frustrating because I hit the bar a bunch of times. It, uh, But that's why I generally don't play right when I wake up. And that was that was pretty much as simple as it boiled down to. So I decided to go out and build the gold team. Um, that was going to be my big squad. And here it is. We went out, picked up Angel Di Maria, picked up El Tigre, uh, Radamo Falcao. And if you guys follow my Twitter, you know that I, I'm saying United kind of turning El Tigre into El Kitte or El Kitty. Uh, because he is just not looking like the uh, the tiger of a player that he once was. Not that lethal goal-scoring instinct that he showed for his other clubs. Now, of course, it's a difficult adjustment coming to the Premier League, and he's coming back off of a pretty brutal knee injury, lots of things. He's generally played in single-striker sets. That's not the case at United. Of course, there are all sorts of different reasonings, but we are playing him in the single-striker set. We've got Hazard. Uh, went out picked up Mats Hummels as well, so mission Mats, and he comes up real, real big for us. Uh, first corner of the game, 11th minute, and that is not even me controlling Mats Hummels. That is me trying to body in, and the AI says, this is Mats Hummels. He is a goal-scoring center back, and he goes and he gets a goal. So a little bit later on, we had another corner. I thought, look at that. There's Mats there on that near post. Give him a chance. And he scored for us yet again. So Mission Mats, two goals for us in the first half of his debut. Give him a little little golf clap there. A little round of applause for Mats because that is a brilliant play. And this is sloppy defending for me again. If he cuts back, I'm able to take care of it. But I just give him an, a lane to shoot. And Cavani's a strong enough finisher on this game that that is a a high percentage chance for him, and I should know better. Uh, Gareth Bale here. I don't know why he moved the wall that way. That's going to make this a very, very easy free kick right around the wall, right into the corner. And Gareth Bale, I think he's played now 23, 24 games for us. He's got something like 33 or 34 goals scored as a winger, which is amazing. Um, getting that sort of production from the outside is just is just brilliant. Uh, and we're going forward now. Three goals we've already scored. Give it to Gareth again. And just baiting, baiting, baiting. Waiting to get that inside lane. And there it is. And this is where he's at his best. Cutting all the way across the top of the box. And just buries it. I've talked about that a bunch of times at this point. And you guys know that it's just such a good, such a good angle to take advantage of. So that is where we are going to come to a close. So going to see if I can go out and win this tournament uh, while it is still going on. So hopefully I can get at least one pack out of this. But uh, we'll see. Pretty busy day. So hopefully I'm going to have to win it. If I lose another game, then it's going to be a no-go. Anyways, I want to thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, a like a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.